I have this little project. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the, the the jets for this carburetor, and it just, I just can't find it. Um, they're all sold out, and then, you know, so it's a B. And then, you know, to have to mess with it, I'm not sure these things aerate fuel too good anyway. That's why I'm trying. I'm gonna switch it over to uh, a pumper carb. The ones that are on the larger um, 63, 63cc Zenoas or the GP460s. And uh, so you're looking at this right here, the HDA223 uh, from Walbro. It's a pumper uh, carburetor. The choke right here. And this is the throttle. Of course, there's a little plate that comes up here. And the way I'm gonna do this is First off, right here, I'm gonna clean this all up, shave a little bit this, the, the, the venture area right there. I'm gonna JB weld some nuts in there. And then I'm gonna bore this out a little bit more, grind around here, and then JB weld this, the velocity stack, to the intake manifold. Right there, as close as we could get it. And um, JB weld it. It's gonna be a good area right here, so it should be well attached, and uh, that's how I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Now it does have a pulse line, but that's external. Here it is, right here, and I'm going to drill the hole a little uh, a little vacuum line right here, probably further down, and uh, that's where we're gonna get the pulse, and then route it to the carburetor. And uh, that way we are able to uh, to uh, to easily tune the carburetor. Plus, these aerate fuel very well, like substantially better. Um, same large bore, probably even larger than originally what we have here. And they just do great on on go pads, on the GP460, and um, so we're gonna do that. Not have to deal with all that crap of this carburetor, this and that. You know, it's it's probably the best thing. So I'm gonna port this as well. And uh, so yeah, I'll be showing you how it goes later. This is my Nell Luso right here. And um, yeah, I was in the GoPeds, but uh, I wanna give this a shot here and see what what we could do performance-wise. And I know there's a lot more you could do to it, but I'm gonna start simple and do it with carburetor and. I'm porting it out. Later on, I'm planning on putting up uh, one of those uh, reed valves. But I also have another bike over there that I can mess with later. This one right here. And uh, so, here's a small go pad. I have a few more in the house. But um, anyway, toys. Toys and projects, that's like anyway stay tuned okay stay tuned because uh this is going to be cool we have the cylinder that i've just ported and of course there you have the rigged up new intake for the pumper carb there's a pulse line right there and this is going to work out just great it's going to go right there right there gonna be good it's gonna be good now that's drying now still so put it over there so I uh, this is a piston I've lightened it and um, I've curved this was sticking out pretty pretty uh, pretty flat so I curved it and uh, so it's also scoops air inward and then this one as well when it goes down whoosh, it cuts the air, of course, and uh, sends it up in, into the transfers. Boop. Up, down, up, down. There you go. All right, so I didn't do too much. Um, I didn't do any precision uh, work or anything. I mean, it's a China girl, cheap Chinese engine. Here's some of the port work I did to it. I've invested some, quite a bit of time. Let's see if we could get better lighting. And uh, there's a transfer ports, if we could just focus there. Okay, I opened them up. 
There's this one. There's the exhaust right there, pretty wide. Let's look at it in, at another angle. I didn't do anything to the bottom. However, the top is slightly, the sides for sure. And there was a bunch of casting on there. See the intake, I widened it, slightly lowered it, and uh, there you have it right there. Transfer, damn, focus. Anyway, there you have it. Like I said, nothing crazy. And um, also, I also did this too. The case. Let's see. All right. Ground this out a little bit. Of course, I covered it a lot, covered it up with tape, dried it, and everything, and it's just so it flows a little bit better, which is what you want an engine to do. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Just free freeing it up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. There's the old carb. It's not gonna have that. Later on, I'm gonna have something that aerates better, uh, fuel better, and it's this one right here. I might get a better one. Uh, same HDA. This is the 223. I'm going to be going to the uh, HDA 4048. 40, eh, I forget. Anyway, I, I ordered it off of DDM. So, so yep. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned, folks. All right, so here I milled it, uh, yeah, dremel that out, and uh, as well as this, cut it a little bit more, and uh, open this up. I'm gonna JB weld the bottom down there where the air turns. It, you know, I want basically flow in it, and this is the highest heat JB weld. You don't want to use the JB quick. Yes, it dries a lot faster, but this has. More heat resistance and it's just overall better the original stuff you know um anywho so we're gonna line this up around there stick it in there and it's gonna clear nicely and uh let me see here let me put this up so that's about how it's gonna look right there like that, and then the filter here, and then it will be good to go. Yep. All right, I'm gonna drill and tap the the, the vacuum in there. No one of these things out and drill and tap. Anyway, go see there. Carburetor. It's an HDA 223. And I still need to tune it. It's also a bored out carburetor. Slightly poured it out. That's what I had in stock, so. Nice little uh, Breslow um, linkage. Just straight bolt on. And uh, so, here, let's hear it. It starts right up, actually. Let's see here. Let's see if I know how to do this shit. Oops, I guess I don't. <laughs> I'm a rookie. Let me get it started.
here's the I'm pretty satisfied I'm actually very satisfied with how it runs um, I installed a really a stopped up old carburetor uh, it's a 223 it's not the one I would prefer to use and I'm actually gonna order a, a larger one it has a larger fuel valves inside that dump more fuel but it definitely picked up a lot of a lot more speed uh with the port job and everything the carb is still you know it runs good and it tops out it, i went from 27 miles an hour to 35 uh no no exhaust i mean just the stock exhaust so that's the weak link here and definitely gonna get a different carburetor same style though so and it's, it starts right up perfect you could tune it it's beautiful just that this one it was used before it's been bored out. It was my ditch carburetor. That's why I wasn't using it. Um, I bored it out and and I experimented with it. And it, it probably has oil residue stopped up in the little, you know, where the fuel comes out. Through the little veins inside the carburetor. So I'm pretty sure it's a little bit clogged. -ish. Anyway, I could feel it. So I know that's, that's what it is. Um, it runs great. Kept up with traffic um uh, definitely got more power and more rpms for sure i went up to 9000 rpms um while running 9000 and something so i was going well over 35 for sure um however i i clocked it at 35 miles an hour and uh, i'm sure i picked up more speed than that after i tuned it a little bit more um anywho so yeah it's it's a fun bike for sure. So next up is going to be the pipe. Different carburetor. I'm expecting it to have even better acceleration. And, um, uh, you know, more, more torque and power. And uh, top speed too. How much? Maybe two or three miles an hour more. Maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking close, close to 40, I would say. That's what I'm trying to get at with stock gearing and everything of course um but yeah yeah very very nice it's a good little project and stay tuned uh don't forget to give me a like and subscribe i get into all kinds of different hobbies and um so you know i have a few other a few others out back and whatnot that i'll be sharing but stay tuned for this one this one's gonna have more more videos to come and I don't think I've clocked the, its full potential just yet. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.